So where did we leave off with this? This file. It's been a while since I actually opened it. I think we made this corner piece from two straights, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I think that was it. I was shown basically how we can take what we've already made here, these segment bits here, and come up with something new on the fly and how we can change what we already have and make new new parts for it. Like we have the steps here. I need to change this. I want to change the DUVs and that and make like a a top marbled pathway around around the building too. So we have basically covered um taking a fresh piece such as this and making more. Make, like adapting that into something that that we can add to the, the library that we have. So we've done it with walls, but now we kind of need to figure out how are we going to make the roof for this now? Because we could just, like we have a corner piece here. Um, let me just zoom on this a second. Yeah, so that's, a, that's just a straight up angled corner piece. So we could use that. Um, let's make a copy of that. So I'll press Shift D and I'll just pull that to the side here. Let me just um let me just turn on the shortcut keys for this. Alright, so I need to line I'm gonna use this guy as the example here. I'm gonna line him up on this side of the wall and on this side so we can find the volume that we need to fill. Now if I take this, I'm gonna go top down here and I'll turn snap on. I wanna turn on increment snap here. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this. So I'm gonna drag this till it meets up on this corner here right so it's in line it's in line with that side of the wall here now I just need to bring it so that this part is in line with that side of the wall so I'll drag him out oh, I'll probably need to zoom in and use the smaller grid here okay so it's in line there as well so now I know that oh my god what happened there uh, if I come from the front here, I'll pull him up. But that's the overhang that we're looking for. And the pivot on this is at the back here. So if I take this, I'll press Shift D and make a copy. And then when I rotate this 180, I'll press Control just to get that increment snap here. When I rotate this 180, that will leave me then from this side, it's continuing on. So I've got that gap that I just need to fill here. And we're going to fill that basically by um, extruding these edges out. And then we're going to use the same trick we always do by taking the edges, turning them into knife projectiles, and then it's going to cut the mesh up as needed. And we can bridge what's left then. So quickly first, I'm going to take this guy. I'll go into edit mode and with edge mode selected, I'm just going to select these open edges. And there's this fella here. I want to make sure he's selected too. And there's actually this part on the inside as well, so I'll copy him. I don't even know why he's there. It's, I obviously had a reason for it, so I'll take it for the moment. And I'm going to press E. and That wasn't E, that was S. I'll press E and extrude that out. Two chunks, or two snaps, of the grid. And if I just look at this from underneath, I think because it's going to be coming off from this angle here, it's probably not going to be enough. So just to cover myself here, I'm going to extract again. And we go another two spaces. Alright, so now we want to do the same on this side. So I'll select this guy, take the open edges. And extract him twice. There's one. And two. All right, so now I know I need to cut this. I'm gonna cut the excess off and I'm gonna use the edges of this wall here to do that. So I'm just gonna select around the wall, all these edges. It's kind of hard to see. I probably should have isolated these before making this harder on myself. Okay, so I'll just select all them. Shift D and make a duplicate. D and separate the selection. Now I want to just take those two edges 
edge loops that I made, and I'll take the two roof pieces and I'll press forward slash and isolate them. Okay, so the plan here is to take these and I want to scale them up in place so that they are projecting out along their own normal and it'll give me the slice tool covering these roof pieces and it will be perfectly aligned with the cuts that we need to make. So I can't actually scale them from that angle or from that pivot there because they're scaling from back here. I want them to each align to their own. So to do that, I need to select them and I'm gonna to have to separate one off. So I'll just hover over one edge here, press L, P and separate selection there. Now with both of these selected, I'm just gonna hold shift and select them both. And I'm gonna right click and set origin to geometry. That'll put the origin point in the center. And now I can press S and I can scale this up on the spot. And I'll go much bigger than I need to because I want to make sure it's cutting further back and forward so that this entire roof piece is in the cutting line. If I go top down, it's in the cutting line, those red lines. It's going to cut straight through that roof. Now, we need this actually to meet at this point. You can see here that these lines aren't converging at a single point that's right here. We need that to happen. So the best way we could probably do this would be I'm going to join these pieces here. I'll press Control J. That'll make one piece of them. Now it's going to take the top two edges. I'll select the two top edges here and I'll press Control I, X, and delete edges. So I just want this one piece here. Actually, I should make them one piece again. Now that we separated them, Control J just to make sure that they're they're one piece, and I will. Right click, set origin to geometry, and now it's going to bring that down so it's not so high up. I still want it to be above the roof, so I'm cutting, I'm projecting downwards with it. But if I go into top down view here, I can see I need this point to go. These two points should meet in the center, and it should end at the pivot point of this roof piece. So to do that, I'll select the two of these. Tab into edit mode, one for verts, and I'll select these two verts, and I'll right click, and I'm going to merge at center. That'll give me one point at the center. Now I just need to put that point into this 3D cursor, so I can right click that, snap to cursor, selection to cursor, there we go. Now because these are so high up, and this one's a snap to the ground, we just need to kind of level them out. Well, we don't technically need to, but for the the sake of being neat, I will. I'm going to press A and then I'll select everything. I'll press S, Z, and 0 to scale them in the Z axis at the same point. And now we can just bring it up. And you can see if I go into top down now, they're merging on that one point there and it's giving me the cut lines that I need. Okay, so with that, I can then select one roof piece at a time. I'll select one, go into edit mode, press 3 for basis, 8, select everything. That's kind of cutting in, we'll ignore that for the moment. Um, I'll press Control, select the cut line, go to Mesh, Knife Project, and just turn on Cut Through. And now you can see, well, you would if that other piece wasn't in the way, but those cuts are made that we need. It'll take a little bit of clean up here, but we basically need it to come out to that point. So that's our roof, and that's the angle now it's going to turn off and join on the far side. So we'll do the same on this roof piece here. I'm going to go back into top down or bottom up, top down it is, and press A on the other roof piece, control select the cutter and I'll go mesh and knife project, make sure cut through is turned on and that will give me the cuts that I need there as well. Okay, so for the most part now we're done with that knife. I'll keep it in case there's any cutting issues. I don't think there is though. So what we want to do is now come around this object and cut inside that knife. So we know that everything from this point on here, that's all going to be replaced or removed, I should say. So I'm just going to go to the top, that point here where the pivot was. I'll select down this roof. And now at this point here, I want to cut around the mesh and I want to take these extra little bits with me because that's the line 
of the knife project. Now I'll need to clean it up like I said, but for the moment I'll just select it and I'll continue back up the inside of the roof. And now there's just that extra piece of geometry here. I'll take that as well. And with all that, I'll press Ctrl I, select everything inverted and X and remove faces. So that's one cut. Now I'll take this other roof here and I'll do the exact same. I'll take the cut line that I wanted, take this extra bit here. Um, and hard to see, but I'm actually going to turn on shaded mode here because it's hard to see with that texture there. So I'll take that and I'll come back up the inside of the roof. And then with all that I'll press Ctrl I, X, remove faces. So, if I come out of Isolator, you can now see what that's after leaving me with. It's kind of... It's given the wall running this side. It comes out to that point along where that wall bends there. And now we just need to bridge these across. But first we need to join them. Because they're two separate pieces here. I'll select one. Then hold Control or Shift. Select the other. Control J. That'll join them as one. Now when I go into Edit Mode, I can just... Select edge, and I'll start bridging these, so I'll just select one edge, then the other, then F to draw a face in there. And for these pieces I can double click those open edges. Actually no, I need to, I need to clean them up first. Okay. So for this, the open edge here is what we want to keep. So that means all of these extra edges on the inside, we can get rid of. So what we might want to do is go to Vertex Select, so select one, and I'm just going to weld these up to the outside point here, in this case along the Y axis. So I'll just select one, select the other, I'll right click and merge at last. Now I have that bound to my quick favorites here, just at last, so I'll make speed that up a bit. I'll just select one. And then bring it up to the outside and merge at last. Now just to make sure I have everything taken there, I'm just going to press A, select everything. Right click and I want to merge verts by distance. And it removed 8 verts from me there, so there was some overlapping happening. I just need to do the same now on this side here. I'll weld these down along the x-axis. Okay, that looks fine. So now I can... Oh, actually, yeah, the inside. Let's not forget that. I'm going to zoom on this and turn it around so I can take this edge and this edge and now I'll start drawing faces in here. So that has me now with an open edge here. I can double-click this. And you can see that, that selection is just kind of running right the way through. We don't want it here on those long edges. We just want to bridge those highlighted edges to those highlighted edges. So by removing these two, what I can then do is go to mesh, no sorry, edge, and bridge edge leads. That'll pull across from me there. Now the same has to be done on this piece of geometry here. I'll just go edge and bridge. Alright, so I can tell by looking at this that this piece of roof here is going to be much wider than your standard 2x2 two two or UV grids. So I'm just going to press Ctrl and R and I'm going to divide an edge group down the middle there. And do the same for this loose geometry here. So now I can come in and I can easily just unwrap these and snap them to the the UV grid the way I've done the rest of the pieces. So that then gives us the piece that we need here. We've got to, we've got to put a roof into it here on the inside, but it should technically line up fine with the other corner pieces. So again, I'll take this as an example, make a copy, Shift D, and I'll pull him across. And I want to go front auto, 
I want to line up the points of the roof first. And now if I come into top down, I can pull him forward till they meet at the pivot there. And then I should be able to just manually zoom on this. And that's pretty fine. I'll turn on texture just to get a better idea. Well, never mind getting a better idea because we still have to actually UV these. It's a mess here. But uh, it looks like it's lining up okay there. And to check, check the other side, I'll make another copy here. And I'll rotate them 180. And now we can we should be able to see that blush running along. Now we still need to put the roof into this. So I can actually just do that by taking this guy. I press L to select him. Shift D to make a duplicate and I'll just pull him across on the Y axis. Now there's a bit of Z fighting there, but we gotta add thickness to this roof at the end, so we not worry about it for the moment. For the moment I will just separate them. And we have this protrusion, but we can actually use this geometry here underneath to cut this. So I'll isolate those two. Go into shaded mode. I want to find the best edge to use in this case, so it would probably be... I'll take this edge. This one here. And I'm going to duplicate that. Shift D, make a copy. P, separate selection. Now I'll just take that edge. Right click, set origin to geometry. And I'll just pull it up a little. Now I can go in. Select only the cutter and the roof. And select the roof first. I'll go to poly select, select all. Hold control, select the cutter. Go to edge. No, mesh, knife project, but first make sure you're in top down view, mesh, knife project, cut trues on, and now I can just select these pieces and remove. Now it gives us a couple end gons we'll have to deal with. Um, Not a big deal I think. Here I can just, there's a rogue vert there, I can remove him, dissolve vert. And gone here, so I'll just take him. Press J and join like that. And there's the same here, so I'll take him and him join there. So now we have quad try quad try. So that'll uh, that'll UV fine. And because we're already UV, actually, we shouldn't have to do any work with that. We we'll come back into textured mode here. You can see. That specific way of doing it doesn't damage the UVs at all, so. So that's that. And um, what else has to has to be done? Well, we just got to fix up the, the way the textures are shown here. But I'm not going to go through that again. I've, I've got 100 videos on how that's done, so. For the moment, I'll do that off camera. And we can pick up where we left off then.